Good day, everyone. This is Pasty White Gangster, back with episode five of the uh, Minecraft Beta Let's Play series. Hush. Stop stepping on the pressure plates. Here, go. There we go. All right. So, anyways, this episode I would like to mess around with some redstone stuff. I have some stuff right here, and some more on the chest, of course, because I plan to do a lot of redstone stuff in this world. Uh, what exactly? Not sure. Uh, but the first red the oh my god I struck while speaking. But the first redstone thing that I have built is this right here. So the reason that these pressure plates here are staggered is because if you put them right next to one another. Okay, well that's because okay. That's because there is a redstone torch right here. But if we do this like how we would in modern versions of Minecraft. We just break both. And then replace them. This door gets uh, sort of inverted compared to this one. So that this happens right here. So to alleviate that problem, what we do is we put a torch here. And we have redstone dust right here, which when powered by this pressure plate right here will deactivate this torch so that this door right here will be in the same state as this one right here. And as you can see, it works just fine. They're not synchronized, but that's just something that we have to deal with, which is fine. And I built the same thing over there, that was actually the first one I built. But anyways, let's get down to business with uh, some of this redstone stuff. Uh, I would like to particularly see, if that made any sense, uh, what blocks pistons can or uh, that can and cannot push. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any sticky pistons. Haven't found any. Haven't gotten any slime balls yet. But I know that they can push. Um, oh. Uh, here's one more thing that I would like to see before we start this episode is can we make snow golems? Do they exist in this version of Minecraft? Let's see. No. Alright, I'm gonna leave that there. That will stay there for uh, as long as it stays there until I decide to take it down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one thing I would like to see is if we can push ice with pistons because I have an idea for a for an item uh, transportation system using water and I wonder if in this version if items flow faster or it, if items move faster when they're flowing on ice in water than on any other solid block like stone or wood or dirt or sand. I would like to see that. So I'm going to head over to the taiga biome that's over here. Or I guess Tundra. I'm not familiar with the exact names of the biomes in this version. But I will see you when I'm over there and we have access to some ice. Alright, so now that we're here... The first thing I would like to test out is if items flow faster on ice than they do other blocks. So I'm just going to build a short water stream right here. And oh, I cannot place anything there. Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, then. In that case, I'm going to see how fast items flow on uh, solid blocks. I need to get more cobblestone. Running low. Uh, so anyways, place that there. And then let's see. All right, that's pretty slow. Now let's do the same thing with ice. Uh, 
Let's see. Water flows eight block. Oh. Water flows eight blocks, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's see. Well, actually, uh, let's see this. Okay, so they do glide along or slide along ice like that. And that does apply here. Okay. Now, this brings me to the idea that I had. Since there's no silk touch in this game, I wouldn't be able to get this ice back to my base. But if I can use pistons um, to push the ice all the way back to my base, then that could work, which I know that sounds ridiculous and like it would take a long time, uh, which it definitely would. And it's probably very impractical, but I actually just thought of another thing. If I think water, actually, I don't know, because, oh, that's hmm, what I was just thinking of is if I just have water really high above my base at the build limit, that it's high enough that it would freeze, but that's only in certain biomes. Hmm. I, could, I could try it out, though. It wouldn't hurt, but this is much faster for item transportation. Uh, what I would use this for is for, like, a mob trap, cactus farm, things like that. Um, and, it would be in, and it would be interesting to see, uh, yeah, to see if I can actually move ice. So... I'm going to go ahead and just put a piston here, and then I'm going to make a lever, and let's see, it can, hmm, alright, well since that works, I know that I can push ice all the way back to my base, and I could probably, and I could probably make an extremely long and complicated piston chain, oh. I want to do that, but at the same time, I don't, because I know that's, that's, oh, that would take so long. Hmm. You know what, that, I will concern myself with that in the future, because right now, uh, I don't even have a complete structure around my base. <laughs> okay, but that is good to know, that is good to know, that presents an interesting challenge. Um, it wouldn't be particularly, okay, it's... It wouldn't be a very complex thing to do, but good lord would it take a long time. That would take a while to do, unless I had, and even to build a system that can quickly push an ice block along, um, that would take a while to build as well and would take a lot of resources. But, you never know. I may just, I may just go to the extreme with that. Um, I don't think there is any ice closer to the base, or, well, I don't think there would really be much of a point in building a storage system out there at the taiga biome, because, well, if this is going to be my base, my main base, which is a plan, uh, then yeah, there's no point in really building anywhere else. Oh. Yeah, I'm experiencing some, uh mouse lag right now. I think it's because of the batteries that I'm using in my mouse. Because I have these rechargeable batteries, and for some reason, after I charge them, every time I uh, ch uh, use them, not long after they finished charging, and, oh my god, I need some water. <laughs> but when I use them on, but when I use them in my mouse, not long after they've just finished charging, and I go on Logitech uh, G Hub because I have a Logitech mouse. Um, it says that the battery level is low, and that's weird. I don't know if there's something wrong with the batteries or G Hub. I'm not sure. I mean, it seems to work fine though. Um, I hope it's not, I hope it's nothing wrong with the batteries because I like having the rechargeable batteries because it's less waste because it's less waste and you don't have to worry about buying new ones that often. I mean, 
I would only imagine that I would have to buy new rechargeable batteries maybe once every like few years, like yeah, I don't know, like once every three or four years. It depends on how much I use them, but I do use my mouse every day. So I use my laptop every day. Probably too much. But that's besides the point. Oh, and I also made a clock so I can tell time when I'm not able to see the sky. Or hear the hundreds of zombies outside of my base. That's always a pretty surefire indicator that, uh, hey, it's nighttime. But anyways, um, I can't really think of much more redstone stuff that I want to do, so I guess I might as well continue work on the base first. I want to check. Okay, so I'm good on resources. Yeah, I have 71 iron. And I'm going to put all my redstone stuff away now. I thought that was just a cave sound that I heard, but it was a... <laughs> I almost just said a mouth. I tried to say some word that starts with an M and cow at, at the same time. And uh, I said Mao. Anyways, let's sleep. Which is probably what I should do in real life. <laughs> uh, but first, before we get to more work on A-Base, I'm going to go gather some cobblestone. I'll see you when I'm done. I just thought of something. Cobblestone generator. Don't have to go underground. I can just build it like over here or something next to the... Uh, not a live snowman. And I can also use a piston in this. I can use some redstone. I haven't built a cobblestone generator in quite some time. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, if I'm going to place the water... Wait. Wait, no, 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 because I want... No, yeah, because I want the cobblestone to be here. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 because I want the cobblestone to be here, so I put the water here. And then the lava here. Yeah, alright. Awesome. Okay, so then let's get the piston in here, and then I'm going to need a redstone clock. And, fortunately, we have redstone repeaters in this version. So, I need... Two torches, one redstone, and three stone. There we go. That's called stone, right? Yeah. Alright, so for the clock. Actually, I can just have it right here. And then to build the clock, I'm going to do, let's see. Um, I have a redstone torch right here, repeater here, increase the delay, oh this burnt out somehow, let me make another repeater so that it's slower because the cobblestone generation is not that fast. Alright, let's see how this works. And then I can use a lever to turn it on or off. Perfect. Alright. That works. Okay, this is still too slow. Uh, oh, is there any way that I could use a block update detector? Hmm, I've never actually... I don't think I've ever used bud switches. Also, this is weird. Why isn't this hooked up to this repeater? Interesting, so I have, oh, so this doesn't actually attach to a repeater, but it does still get powered though, right? Interesting, okay, cool. All right, good to know, I guess. All right, uh, how slow does this need to be? Probably, I would guess at least 10 ticks. So if I have uh, another repeater, oh, that's not right. There we go. Forgot how nice the Minecraft music is. So nice in these older versions.
Yeah, there we go. Place that there as well. Hmm. Doesn't work very consistently. Guess I'll have to get another repeater. All right. I keep. <laughs> what am I doing? Good board. There we go. I should know how to craft these, but I guess because of the modern crafting system, I've gotten a little lazy. Alright, here we go. Now this should definitely give us enough time. Yeah. It would be nice if I could just have, like, a monostable circuit go in so that it extends quickly. Hmm, I wonder if that's possible. Well, I know that a monostable circuit is. Oh, and actually now that I... Oh wait, no, because I would need a sticky piston. Yeah, the only monostable circuit that I can think of would be like... Uh, here, let me make another piston. It's a pretty old design. One that's been around for quite a while, I know, and... One that I used to use in the past, um, and would honestly probably still use today, but it's like this. So let's pretend that this is a sticky piston. It looks like this. You have... Are there no buttons in this version? I know there are buttons, but how do you make them? Hmm. How do you make a button? This is not working. Well, anyways, uh, how it works is you send a redstone signal into here, and then you use a repeater at the other end. And what this does is with a sticky piston, is when you power this right here, it sends a signal through here, but it gets interrupted when this block extends upward. Um, so it ends up only being one tick long. Or maybe you have to swap it around. Well, let's see if this actually outputs anything. Let's see. No, okay, then maybe maybe it doesn't work, or maybe you need to use a repeater. Yeah, maybe it's a repeater into this end, and then a block out, or and then dust out the other. No. There is a way to send a one-tick pulse, though, I think, because you can do it with pistons, from what I can tell. Like, you can send a quick signal in like this. Yeah, you can send them in. I just don't know if there's a way to make it um, with an actual circuit. Uh, yeah, that's something that I would really like to get though. And I have a feeling that it's possible. I, ha I have a feeling that it's possible to do that. Hmm. I'm actually going to try out some more stuff with that to see if I can't figure something out. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, when I'm done testing things out.